Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenya with BK Trading Academy. And in today's video, we're going to review how to calculate points on NAS 100. So if you trade NAS 100, then we're going to go through exactly how to do this, but the easy way. So make sure you pause the video where you need to take notes and just go through the examples that I give you. And I'm going to show you an easy way of how to do it, especially using a particular broker. Your broker matters. So I'm going to show you how the brokers that I use make it super easy, but also how you can do this manually on your own. So do me a favor. I need you to smash the like button on this video because this helps to push it out to people who need it just like you. And I appreciate it so much. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop right in. Yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on you. So one of the things that I want to highlight, especially if you are trading the currency market, because we have a lot of traders who follow us from the currency market, is that points and pips are calculated differently. They have the same concept, but it's calculated differently and you need to understand the difference. So it's important that we go through what is a point versus a pip. When you hear a point, it's basically just a unit of measurement that expresses the change in value of price. When you are looking at points inside of the stock market, for example, and looking at indices when you have one point it is totally different from how a pip is calculated in forex so it's actually much more than a pip that we're used to in the currency market but a pip is a unit of measurement to express the change in value between two currencies. So that is mainly the difference. Now we're going to go through some examples, so don't worry. But one thing I want to stress to you is that your broker matters. So there are several different options when you are trading indices that you can consider. The value per point depends on your broker. So some brokers, for example, like one of the brokers that I use, one point is actually equal to a dollar in Forex. There's other brokers that will let you trade indices, not many, and a point can be equal to 10 cents, kind of like trading currencies where when we trade 0.01 per pip, that equals 10 cents. Well, you can do that on indices as well. So I call that kind of like a baby broker. You can trade uh, indices using baby lots. Whereas with a broker that charges a little bit more per point, then it's going to add up really quickly, whether you're in profit or you're in loss. So that's just something to be mindful of. And also what I recommend is that you demo trade to get comfortable before going live because indices are nothing to play around with. You can be very profitable with them, but you can also lose a lot of money. So it's really important that you have a very strong risk management plan. Now, if you want broker recommendations, you can see that in the description of this video, I will list this there for you. You can also message us on our website at bktradingacademy.com if you have any questions or any broker recommendations, but I will put all that information for you in the description of the video. So now let's get into how to calculate the actual point. So I have it here where 10 pips makes one point. So if you are coming from currencies, just stick with me. I'm going to break this down for you, but you can see on my screen right here, one point equals 10 pips, two points equals 20 pips, three points equals 30 pips, four points equals 40 pips, and so on. So this is what you need to remember when trading indices, in particular NAS 100. And again, it adds up really quickly. 20 points can equal 200 pips and that can take a really long time to make in the currency market. But in indices, you can make this within literally a minute or two, you know, so you want to be very careful in how you trade it. Let's go through an example. So if price is at 18700 and moves to 18730, that's a total of 30 points. And what I want you to do is I want you to pay particularly attention to the last two digits. In the Forex market, we pay a attention to the last four digits. Sometimes you have a fifth digit, which is considered the pipette. We drop the pipette. We pay attention to the last four digits. Well, in indices, I make it easy by paying attention to the last two digits. So if 18700 moved one point, it would be 18701. Okay. But in this case, it moved to 18730. That's 30 pips. And then we calculate that by 0.01 lot size. That would equal $30 in profit. Okay. If you were trading a 0.01 lot size. Let's look at another example. So let's say price is at 18700 and it moves to 18750. That's a total of 50 points. So again, I want you to pay attention to the last two digits. If you're ever looking at a chart, you're going to pay attention to how much price is moving in those last two digits and that'll help you calculate it really quickly. So 50 points traded at 0.01 lot size would equal $50 and 50 points traded at 0.03 lot size would equal $150. So you're probably curious as to how to quickly calculate it when you are using different lot sizes. When you 
stick with a 0.01 lot size, which I recommend for a lot of new or maybe struggling traders. If you have not mastered risk management, if you haven't mastered risk management, you should not be trading NAS 100. For those of you who are getting comfortable or you're trying to get comfortable, I would recommend sticking with a 0.01 lot size and get comfortable with calculating it on your own. And also you can use a trading platform that will help you as well. Another example is let's say price is at 18750 and moves to 18775. That's a total of 25 points. Now, if you're trading 25 points times a $2 lot size, okay, $2. Now, 25 points, you can get that relatively quickly also in the Forex market, but this moves really fast in NAS 100. So if you were trading $2, you would make $500 or lose $500 within a matter of probably seconds to a minute or two, okay? That's how fast it really moves. Let's go ahead and go to an example on the broker platform that I use. I'm going to show you two different examples. One, I consider a baby broker and the other where you would be trading a lot more in the lot size. Okay, so let's do this in real time because I love learning in real time. Price is at 18824 on NAS 100 right now. I'm going to go ahead and put 18824 and I'm going to do a take profit of 18827 and I'm going to trade 0.01 lot size. I'm going to go ahead and click buy. It's like it activated it right away and you can see that I'm negative about two dollars and ten cents so price is currently at 18823 and remember you have to also factor in spreads as well so don't forget that when you are considering your risk management but now you can see I have a position and it's going into profit I'm gonna go to Hanko trade this is what I consider a baby broker it's already on point oh one so I'm just gonna go ahead and click buy and we're just gonna market execute okay so now you can see here it's started out as negative 0.40 or 30 or so. So we're just going to let that run. But I want you to notice the difference right now. Okay. And now you can see I'm positive and I've already hit my TP. You can see that I'm only positive about eight cents and price is pretty much moving about the same. Although I did market execute and got in the trade a little bit late, you can see the difference. I'm on the 15 minute time frame. I'm up about maybe, I'm not even at 10 cents a pip yet. On the other broker, I've already taken profit. So that is the difference. If I go to close positions, you can see right here, I actually made a total of $4.40. And if you look at the entry price, it was 18823. And the exit price was 18827. So roughly about four points. See the profit was four dollars and forty cents trading at a ten cent lot size so if you wanted to do a limit order on this particular broker that i'm using you're simply going to highlight nas 100 you're going to click that arrow there click on pending we want to buy price is at 18824 we want to take profit let's say at 18900 and if we wanted to trade 50 cents a point we would make 380 dollars if we bring that down and we want to use 40 cents a lot and we want to use a 0 0.04 lot size from 824 to 900 that's 76 points. So again, to adjust your lot size, it's easy when you have a broker platform that can do this for you. And then you can just quickly calculate how much you'll make based on the price and where you want to take profit. So that is how you calculate points on NAS 100 and in particular indices. Any indice that you trade pretty much is going to follow that same system. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them on this video. I hope that it made it simple enough for you. I will say that it is much easier when you have a broker who has a platform where it can calculate it for you. So that way you're not making any mistakes. You can see it before you actually get into the trade. You can go back and modify it. So again, if you would like information on the broker that we currently use, you can look at the description of this video. And if you have other questions, you can always feel free to reach out to us on our website at bktradingacademy.com. I hope that this helps you. Be sure to leave a comment and like this video and subscribe if you'd like to receive our future content. If you are a new or struggling trader, I encourage you to check out all that we offer at BK Trading Academy. We have a thorough program that includes everything you need, especially risk management and a lot of hand-holding mentorship. So check out our testimonials, check out the way we trade and lead. And we look forward to welcoming you in our community or continuing to help you grow through our free content. Thank you so much for watching and happy trading. Yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on you.